today I'm going to be showing you how I get my curly hair from start to finish. I mean, I always had my curly hair, but what I do to it, you know? If you are an OG friend or like subscriber, the 300 of you that there is, hello, and you look back at my old videos, you would see that my hair was pin straight all the time. I never gave it a rest. I never wore it natural. I didn't even know how to style it natural. I was pretty ashamed of my natural hair. That was kind of my lifelong story. I didn't like wearing it natural at all. There comes a point in your life where you wanna start embracing the natural. I was so sick of, you know, damaging my hair. The damage look is not cute. I was sick of always worrying about, you know, when was my wash day versus when was the events that I was going to. If my friends wanted to go to the pool or the beach, I'd be like, oh my God, but my hair is straight. Humidity was a huge thing and I was just sick of it. I wanted to be a natural girl. I wanted my hair to do its thing and I wanted to live more free. What I did was I found a natural curly hair specialist in Vancouver. There are like two of them and I love the one that I went and visited last June. So in a month it will have been a year and I was literally so clueless. I went to her with a cue card full of questions and she walked me through all of it. Like what is my hair type? What is my porosity? Do I have to wet it every time I want to refresh? Like I had all of these questions and she answered all of them for me and she gave me all the products that I needed to be able to style my own hair. So that's why I'm kind of making this video for anybody who's thinking of embracing their natural texture more. Maybe you have waves or curls or coils. Showing you what I like to use a year later. I'm probably gonna look back at this in a few years and be like, Iman, you were so clueless, but that's the thing. This is a whole journey. Let's just get into it. To start my wash routine, I use this Axis shampoo that my salon gave me. So I go to Axis Salon in Vancouver, and this is a vanilla mint cleanser for dry and colored hair, which I have both. Um, I use this probably once a week, every 10 days or so. I definitely cannot wash my hair more than that because I have very dry hair. The conditioner I use is so generic. I didn't even bring it out. It's like the big bottle of Kirkland conditioner from Costco. And I honestly only use that because it's such good value and curly headed girls, you know, how much conditioner we go through. So for the conditioner, I just take two to three pumps, I lather in my hair, I put it up for the rest of my shower, and then near the end, I use a wet brush and I just comb out my knots and tangles, which my hair is due for a cut, like very overdue for a cut. So I have a lot of tangles. This really helps define my curls. So a wet brush is so key, you guys. And this is what I didn't know in the beginning of my curly hair journey and I was so confused on why my hair was looking like a tangled mess and not defined at all. So yeah, once I do that, I hop out of the shower and then I go straight in with this leave-in conditioner from Way. I just take it and I spray it throughout my whole head from mainly the ends and then I put a little bit in my roots as well. You guys, this smells so heavenly. It is so fragranted, which some people don't like, but I personally love. You can turn your head and someone will be like, oh my God, your hair smells so good. And that's why I love this. I also just love Jen Atkin as a person. So I am like so happy to support Way in any way that I can, Way. <laughs> Once I put in the leave-in conditioner in my hair, I'm good to brush it out one more time to really make sure that my curls are tangle-free and fully defined. Because once your hair isn't sopping wet, like you've passed the point of no return, you can't tussle your hair, you can't run your fingers through your hair, the key is to work on it while it is wet. This product probably changed the game for me. I didn't know that I was supposed to be using gels in my hair. Uh, like when I say I was clueless, I was so clueless. So my hairstylist Dawn, she taught me that I was supposed to be using a water-based gel and most of my products were supposed to be water-based rather than oils and I totally understand now because if you have dry hair, you should be quenching its thirst with water-based products. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together, but I use this liquid sculpting lotion from Axis. Again, it is like a lightweight gel and that's a key for me. I don't want the crunchy feeling. I don't want, you know, a greasy feeling as well. And so when she did my hair for the first time, I was so shook because it felt like my own hair and I've never experienced that before weirdly. So I take a quarter size amount and I work it through four sections in my hair, starting with the lower half, splitting that in two and then going to my crown and then the sides doing that whole gig. This product, or I guess your favorite gel in general is really 
the key to making sure your curls stay defined throughout the whole day. Rake it through your hair, make sure it's fully saturated in each part, and then you are good on that step. This next step is so personalized to every single person. Some people like to scrunch, some people like to shake with their hands like this. I don't like to do any of that because I feel like my hair is pretty fine and it's just gonna go straight out if I do that kind of stuff. So what I do is I finger curl, finger coil it, I don't know what they call it, but you take a piece and you just define the curl and you give it the help that it needs to really just be as defined as possible. I do this with most of the pieces in my crown. I don't worry about the bottom section or even the back really. And I make sure not to take every single piece and finger curl it that way. Something that my hairstylist Dawn told me that stuck with me ever since is a little bit of frizz is totally cool because it'll help your curl stand out even more. And it's just a little more cool, a little more effortless. So I'd rather have that than every single piece be a perfect ringlet. So that concludes the styling portion and that usually takes me about five minutes, which is not long at all. In fact, when I get out of the shower, I'll just put a toning mist on my face, a hydrating one, and then I'll quickly work on my hair and then jump back into my skincare routine. It is that fast. The next part though is pretty long, about like two hours long. And now we wait. I'm just gonna get some work done and go about my day and then my hair, it usually takes like two hours to like fully dry. I will see you guys then where I will diffuse my hair. For my diffusing, I put it on the, the lowest heat and the highest speed and I don't let the blow dryer touch my hair at all, which a lot of people do. My hairstylist even does to me and it's not my favorite look on me. So what I do is I hold it and I just circulate it around my head. I don't let it touch my hair until it's like very dry. And then I'll go in, I'll take the middle part like that. I'll put it in like that. I'll flip my head. I'll do the whole business ordeal. This is the sort of gel cast that you get after you blow dry your hair. We are going to break it up with our hands, some oil and then it'll actually look and feel like our own hair, which would be nice. The last product that I use is another Way product, surprise. Um, this is a rose hair and body oil. I use this to finish off my hair routine, so you shouldn't go in and tussle it and do the most without oil on your fingers. Um, that will just cause even more frizz. I'll take two pumps and I'll sort of massage it into my hair. I'll take my hair in my hands and pull at it so that it gets it out of its gel cast and lets it have its own sort of movement and shape. And I'll just go at it for a minute, being careful to not frizz my hair, being gentle and taking pieces apart from each other that have stuck. And then that's how you have this look, you guys. It is super simple it just takes a little bit of practice i just want to reiterate again that i'm no expert i've only been at this for a year but with that being said i'm so proud of where i've come um being able to embrace the natural look every single day is really hard when you know society tells you not to <laughs> i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys liked my youtube debut part two and let me know if you have any questions in the comments about your routine maybe let me know what your routine is i hope you guys have an amazing day bye